could say action or something. Okay, action. Okay, fantastic. What's going on, everybody? Uh, we are in the car with Kate Hello. and uh, the kids. I don't know what they're doing back there. Go ahead and show everyone. One sleeping. Yeah, and Leo. Leo's about to fall asleep. But um, really excited. So you guys are watching this. This video goes up on YouTube on the 21st, but it's actually Saturday, the 20th of October, 2018. And I'm excited because we're bringing you uh, the events of the day, which is Iguana Fest at Thai Park's place. Uh, so it's all about iguana and lizard conservation today. We're gonna see some cool animals, meet a lot of reptile folks. Uh, some of them have been in the videos before. You may see them on their own channels. Uh, but we're gonna learn a lot, we're gonna have a lot of fun, and we're gonna raise some money for lizard conservation. And uh, we'll have a link down below that you guys can go to to help Thai Park raise money for these awesome animals. So, uh, uh, by the way, uh, the video is gonna be loose and fast, people. All right, so we're gonna get a lot done, and uh, you know, it's gonna be exciting. So, enjoy the ride, and uh, I'll see you at the end. Right? This is Camp Kenneth. All right, look at this. It's a water fest, I'm falling butt in, let's see. Good deal. All right, so here's Ty's place. It looks like it's already packed, so let's get parked. All right, I'm here with Luis Caraballo in white because I'm a little white boy. I don't say it right. How do you say it properly? Luis Caraballo. Okay, very good. <laughs> and uh, we're with Birds and Exotics. Talk to me about some of the animals and what you work with and why you're here at Iguana Fest, man. Um, well, the main thing we're on here is to support conservation. Let's have a look at um, the guys. We come over here. We have two of our um, these are my two volunteers. We got Daniel and Jenna over here. Hello. Over there, we have Leonidas, the eagle owl, um, oh, one man. of the largest owl species in the world. Um, it's a little hot today, so he has a fan and everything. He's just looking around, enjoying the views around him. Oh, it's beautiful, man. And over here, Jenna, she's holding Caesar. Caesar's an auger buzzard. Um, he's a bird native to um, Africa. He's very talkative. Yeah, definitely. Um, but in my part, this is I support conservation. I love what we do here. This is a main event for all of us and for the reptile community. So uh, this is what I could do to bring the animals close to people and raise a little money for them. Yeah, it's really awesome. And you're also, you have a love for reptiles as well, don't you? Well, I started with reptiles about 20 years ago. I started with snakes and different lizards. And over the time, I developed a love for birds of prey and then here's where I'm at right now. And some people would actually say, you know, some, uh, some biologists consider birds reptiles, exactly. you, know, you know, because so, of the, the different clade system. But you know, what are what are feathers but modified scales, folks? Exactly. There you go. How cool is that? But of course, they're uh, was that endothermic? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Endothermic. Yeah. Reptiles yeah. are ectothermic. There you go. All right, Lewis. <laughs> Thank you very much thank for you, hanging man. out, man. Thank you for having us. Have a great day today. Just so much more from Iguana Fest. We're going to bring you guys. So. There you go. And I see a buddy that I got to go talk to right now, my pal Kurt, the croc, one of the croc fest organizers. I'm going to catch up with him and uh, there'll be more coming up. What's up? Oh, check it out, everybody. This is another famous monitor lizard. If you guys follow Ty Park, this is Francis. And uh, Francis is kind of a hit, right? You guys are digging Francis. So, as I said, this is a guana fest, but it's not just a guana. Sophia, what do you think of Francis? He's as big as Slinky, right? He's a little bit bigger than Slinky. And he's got sharp claws. Oh, there you go. Look at that beauty right there. So was Francis the guy that was a little overweight? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, so he's a rescue. He's a rescue. So Francis was a little bit overweight, guys. But Ty got him, flew him out. I don't know where he came from, but uh, he's a big boy. He's a big lover. And uh, as you can see, He's now got a lot of space. He's, he's being an ambassador animal today, but he's got a lot of space and he's gonna slim down and he'll be a nice spelt water monitor. But this is about, just about full size for an adult male Asian water monitor. And uh, my goodness, isn't it awesome? Really fantastic animal. Beautiful. What do you think? So if you like, you like Francis, but you still love Slinky, right? Whoa, Francis, where are you going? Check it out. Francis is just going to cool out underneath me, and that should be fun. There you go. Thanks for grabbing the camera, pal. What's your name? Jess. All right, Jess is a volunteer here, and we're just going to finish off this little segment saying hello to Francis. I love it. We love it over here at Ty's place. 
Y'all did? All right, let's see what else we got. So when you are at Iguana Fest, you bump into a lot of reptile lovers. This is my buddy, Dave Morningstar. You might want to go back and check out the video I did from his house. I'm sure your house has changed quite a bit. Quite a bit. We've upgraded tremendously the places. You wouldn't even recognize it. Everything's for the animals. It's all we care about. We've been doing our best trying to make them have the happiest home we can provide. And that's what we love to hear, man. That's what we try and uh, accomplish with the show and the education. But you're here with some animals, right? Actually, I'm just here uh, showing off some of Ty's wonderful Let's animals. see some of Ty's oh, animals. Let's, let's take me in there, man. We're, we're near the band, so it's going to be a little loud. But as always, Sophia is hanging out with us. Get in there, Sophia. And that's what's cool. Hey, what's going on? That's what's so cool about Iguana Fest, because if you guys don't have an opportunity to meet some of these amazing animals, when you come to events like Iguana Fest or Croc Fest, you'll be able to meet some really cool animals and get hands on and learn a lot about them. So Sophia is now petting a rhinoceros iguana. What's this animal's name? That's Donkey Kong. This is Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. You no way, can't man. Imagine why. <laughs> oh yeah. Let me see if I could just turn around here. That's better. It's a little bit brighter. So Sophia is doing a good job. She knows to pet him back here and work your way towards the head when it's an animal we don't know. But the cool thing. Years old. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you get down in here and give us the uh, 411 on Donkey Kong? Go ahead, though, Dave. What do you got? There's Donkey Kong here. He's 22 years old. He's one of Ty's largest iguanas. This is about the maximum size they get. Probably around 25 pounds is what they max out at. You can tell that he is just a, a, a friendly character, and he just loves when he gets all this attention, especially from young kids that are just giving him all types of love. Yeah, you know, the reason we love Cyclora folks is because, you know, they are they are very intelligent animals. Um, he's excited. He did get a little excited. Look at that. He's doing a little head bobbing. Yeah. He hears the music. I think he's getting ready to dance. He's ready to headbang, dude. He's ready to do some dancing. Up, but anyway, it's really cool. Love Cyclora. That's why we're here. It's about iguana conservation today. <laughs> He, th oh my he, he thinks you might be wanting to peel his little tail here, but I don't I don't think that's coming off right now. In the near future, it sure Good will. Good job. Well, there you go. And the cool thing about Cyclora is they give you a little bit of a heads up with some of their nonverbal communication, little head bobs, little tail swipe, and he's like, hey man, back up off me and that's what you do <laughs> just hang out he's so animated he is man well it's always good to see dave morningstar and his family there you go and then where's there she is there she is oh uh, yes here. the lizard queens are here <laughs> helping out with iguana conservation there you go all right well good deal man we're gonna move on and see what else we got here ties we haven't even made it past the front gates all right <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're here with Savannah Bowen. Uh, it's been a little bit. You guys remember Savannah? Where, where can they follow you at, Savannah? Um, they can follow me at Savannah Bowen or any of Gatorland social media. Right. Gatorland blogs are here. So we are not at Gatorland, but Gatorland came to Iguana Fest and they brought a special animal. Tell we us did. about it. This is Moonshine. She's a six-year-old albino alligator. And it's funny, all day, depending on what music is playing, she goes to different sides of the pool. <laughs> if she likes it or not, is yeah, that it? A, so I think the she, vibration from the bass drum, okay. I think is what's changing it. Is she more of a country or rock and roll fan? Have I'm we, thinking she's digging the Red Hot Chili Peppers, nice. but who doesn't? Who doesn't love the Chili Peppers? So this is a real albino, and uh, the first ones were found, I believe, in Louisiana. No, the Lucistics. The Lucistics. Alright, tell me about the Albinos. Where did they first come? Was it St. Augustine? I don't, uh, I know St. Augustine has a lot of them. We gotcha. have three big ones. We have her and her sister, and then another really big one. And we have the Lucistics at our place as well. Very cool. Well, she is gorgeous. She is. And if you guys are in Orlando, uh, in the Orlando area, you're going to want to go to Gatorland. That I visited Gatorland when I was nine years old in 1983, and I got the picture with the juvenile gator and the boa constrictor, man. So I'm an OG Gatorland fan. And uh, maybe one day we'll get the channel up there to go visit yeah, Savannah hopefully. up again. We'd love to have you come up and bring your channel. That would be so people. much fun. We'd love that. All right, so we're going to get one more pass at this gorgeous gal. Moonshine, look over here. I think she is looking over here. I don't know. You want to turn her Moonshine. head? Moonshine! Look at this gorgeous girl. Moonshine, look right there. Look right there. Oh, so pretty. Look right there. What is that? Don't eat the camera, Moonshine. <laughs> we still got a lot to bring to you from Iguana Fest. 
All right, everybody, we're signing off from the Gatorland booth here at Iguana Fest. Where will we be next? All right, so you guys are gonna know this next guy because he's been on the channel quite a few times and uh, we know him, we love him. It's Sam Piscucci. Say hello, Sam. Hey, everybody, how are you? And hey, Brandon Harkin. Hey, how you doing? With I Sam. Very cool. Sam, who did you bring with you today? Well, this is Bernie, this is number one, and that's Cecil, that's the Aldabra, and this is the Galop. Oh man, that's so cool. So, guys, when you get when you get to Iguana Fest, it's not just iguanas. Uh, they bring all kinds of really cool animals. Here comes Bernie. He won't eat. He won't eat. He's just gonna get the little taps on the rear of the shell. How are you doing? What's your name? Mario. All right, Mario, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna keep him on here. Yeah. No problem. I'm working, I'm already working with Sam. You see that? Sam is my go-to tourist guru when I have any issues with mine. But look at this, slow and steady wins the race down the ramp, everybody. How gorgeous is Bernie. What an opportunity if you folks don't get a chance to see these tortoises. You have to make sure you come on out next year to Iguana Fest. And another great thing you can do, guys, is donate so that they can continue to do reptile conservation and bring these animals to events like this. What an opportunity. Usually you got to go to a zoo, but not here at Iguana Fest. You get to hang out. Let's go have a look at that Aldabra real quick. Let's walk over here and go see this Aldabra. Very cool. How's that? A little bit bigger than Nostradamus, right? Look at that gorgeous tortoise. That is a gorgeous tortoise. And you can really tell the difference between the two tortoises when you look at their face. Oh, there you go. Good stuff, man. You guys having fun at Iguana Fest or what? Oh yeah. Pretty cool, right? Are we gonna be on YouTube? Man? Yeah, you guys will be on YouTube, no worries. But there he is, man. Nice Aldabra tortoise. Our buddy Sam Piscucci did a fantastic thing by bringing these animals here today just so that people can get up close and personal with it. And there's Bernie. Holy smokes. Pretty cool, guys. All right, we're playing it fast and loose here. Fast and loose at Iguana Fest. We got a tortoise coming right for us. All right, on to the next site. Say, say see you later, Sam. See you later, guys. <laughs> All right, so we're hanging out here. We found Kyle, luckily for us, and we're gonna be um, checking out just some of the tortoise enclosures that Ty has. Ty keeps things very simple. Um, his goal is to make sure his costs are low, but so that when he does make a profit, it goes all to animal conservation. It's a hobby for him uh, and a passion. It's not necessarily, uh, you know, this isn't paying his bills. This purely goes into all the animals. And here are some little testudo uh, enclosures. These can give you guys an idea how to take low cost products and kind of put together a very uh, suitable habitat for some of your smaller tortoise species. So it's pretty cool to see how other people do it to get ideas. And of course, Sophia loves Kyle. Who doesn't love Kyle? Who doesn't? Kyle, love say Kyle. hi. How you doing, guys? Yeah, there you go. Oh, how about a star tortoise? A little star tortoise over here. Oh, what's going on? Okay, so we are with Wayne, who is the head man in charge of husbandry here at the farm, at Ty's farm, and we're gonna learn about lace monitors. It's a really great day at Iguana Fest because you get to see animals that you don't normally get to see in private collections. So hit, hit it, let's see. Right. I'm really excited. Yeah. I saw these guys in Australia. Oh, and by the way, look who's with us. Hey, hey there he is, Ty's the man. Out. All right, look. Wayne is my monitor guy. Oh, God. Wayne is the monitor guy. Let's get in here, hon. Just poke okay. right in there and look at the beauty. Look at how gorgeous that animal is, everybody. There is the lace monitor. This is an Australian species. Am I looking at a Bell's phase? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Bell's phase lace monitor, guys. So these, these are um, a fairly large species um, as far as four to five foot long full size. Yes, yeah, maybe five, even bigger. Feet, yeah. Five, six uh -huh. feet. Now, in Australia, guys, these lizards will raid picnics. Uh, they're kind of, they're kind of funny. They're very brave animals once they get accustomed to humans, 
And I've heard stories of my friends from Australia and what will happen is as these lizards get more gregarious, they know that people will leave their trash about and they, they just scavenge and do what they got to do to survive. But here in captivity at the farm, what are you guys finding about this species? As far as food, of what the they're intelligence, eating? Intelligence, um, you know, did they tame up? What's happening? A lot tamer than what I thought, or it was led to be, you know, that they were more aggressive. But some are, but like you saw me with the one bells. Right. And she's the tamest one. So you can really, guys, you can see the difference. Look at the bell's phase, just the patterns on the bell's phase as opposed to a uh, more, you know, common form of the lace monitor. Now, I love lace monitors. It's a dream of mine to one day have a pair of lace monitors. Hi. You're not getting one from me, oh, buddy. Man, oh, man. You got to be really nice to me to get one. All right, I'll be really nice to you. Look, here's right. another bell's phase <laughs> up here. Now, the reason I like this species is because where they're from in Australia, their range does dip down into a part of yeah. Australia that gets cool. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, yeah. here in they South good. Florida, yeah, where you're at. They do really well. They yeah. do good here. And look at that one creeping up to you because he want to be fed. See oh, look at this, guys. They're really amazingly intelligent animals, really. Yeah. For, for lizard. Just, just to have the privilege to work with these guys is just awesome. That's you know? cool. Well, you know what? We've seen a lot of amazing animals here today. And uh, before we go, I just want to talk with Ty a little bit and uh, just pick his brain because this whole place, guys, is his brainchild. And Ty, we've done a lot of videos together. And thank you, Wayne. Thank you for doing that, by the way. Thank Let's you. say thanks to Wayne in thanks, the comments Wayne. below. Showing us really cool. It's my uh, main man. Wayne's the main man, man. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, oh, they're, they're high Wayne five. The and so it's a cool love going on here at Iguana <laughs> Fest. But you know, Ty, um, we've seen you so many times on the channel. He's definitely a friend of the channel and a friend to reptiles in general. It's the second annual Iguana Fest. Why did you decide to do Iguana Fest in the first place? <clears throat> well, um, you know, I, I uh, founded this farm 11 years ago, right? And my mission was to um, uh, make a difference. And um, and I, then I fell in love with uh, cyclorus species. Right. And I know they needed help in the wild with conservation. So my mission was to my idea that I came up with was they also made such a great pet. I know I had two of them that I had at the house. They're like my dog. So I decided that um, I was going to produce them for the pet market and take the profit and give it back to the conservation side. Of it. Right, so kind of like Tom Crutcher would talk about conservation through commercialization. Yeah, exactly. Actually, well, I'm actually trying to practice that. Gotcha. Exactly. I know Tom came out with the coining, but, and the last, um, matter of fact, last November, or was it December, uh, this farm reached a milestone. We get more and more than half a million dollars. Oh, the so this, this farm alone. Half a million dollars. And, yeah, That's amazing. in 10 years. That's fantastic. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we're very proud. Uh, you know, this is not a, a, a zoo, right? right? Uh, and it's not really for public. Um, so, there's a lot of things that we can do the zoo can't, yep. right? The zoos need to have their cages beautiful and it has to be more like for display. Whereas I can I don't need to spend as much time money and building cages. Right. Right. So I so I can't really economize on things like paying employees. Yeah. Or um or like feeding. Right. Those are very important to me. But what I can economize is building cages. So a lot of times when you see the way I build them, it's not really public friendly. Yeah. But, but it's animal very friendly. functional. Right, exactly. and I mentioned that earlier right. in the video when we were looking at the tortoise enclosures. I said, hey guys, here's a great way to get ideas if you're trying right. to do things uh, in a low cost. I mean, it's functional for the animals. Number right. one, that's what it's got to be. Yeah, exactly. It's got to be good exactly. for the animals, and that's right. what Ty has achieved here. Right. So all that money, instead of just creating these lavish enclosures, exactly. which are aesthetically yeah. beautiful, right. um, they're functional enclosures, and half a million dollars in 11 years is nothing to sneeze at for reptile Not conservation. Bad. Not, bad. Not bad at all. Now, here's what I'm going to have you folks do. Let's see if the Camp Kennan Army can help out. As I mentioned at the top of the video, it is Saturday, October 20th, 2018, second annual Iguana Fest. But you're watching this video, the first time it airs will be tomorrow, which is the 21st on our channel, right? I would love it if the Camp Kennan Army out there, the guys that watch this video, if you've got 50 cents, if you've got a dollar, we're going to put the link in the description below and help out Ty and Iguana Fest. I promise you, Ty doesn't need this money. He's doing this purely 
from his uh, benevolence and the love of these animals. So let's see what we can do to help out Iguana Fest with that link, okay? Actually, uh -oh. they could send PayPal to iguanafest.gpz, gladiatorzoo.org, and it goes to Gladiator Zoo Iguana Fest uh, fund. Yep. And it goes straight to conservation. That's fantastic. It goes right yeah. to my friend Colette Adams, who right. works at the Gladys Porter Zoo. So, right. Iguana Fest. Iguana Fest dot GPZ dot, oh, I'm sorry. Iguana Fest at ZPZ dot org. ZPZ. Yeah, Gladys Porter Zoo. GPZ. Right. Iguana Fest at GPZ. Dot org. Dot org. Dot org. Yeah. PayPal. I'm Korean. I was born in Korea, so I have this accent. <laughs> It's okay. Z, Z, great. Z is really amazing. bad for me. That's okay. We got <laughs> subtitles right down here. No problem, man. It's going to be right, fine. Awesome. Uh, it's good. Fantastic. So let's see if the Camp Cannon Army can help. No amount is too small, guys. And I'll tell you what, in the notes say Camp Cannon sent you. I just want him to know that we're doing our part to help Reptiles. Thank, Thank you, you brother. Much. Always a pleasure, man. Thank you. Kevin. All right, guys. We had a fun day at Iguana Fest. We got to get home and get these kids. Get these kids wrangled up. You guys are ready to go home? No, she wants to hold another lizard. So if you want to hold another lizard. Oh, she doesn't like it. All right, well, there you go. They're children, guys. Children. Have fun. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys all soon. So long. Awesome, man. Oh, wait. One last thing. You still there? We're there. Are you guys still there? I almost forgot. Check out his shoes. Oh, is this live? It's not live, but that's the last shot you're getting. This man loves lizards. He's stylish. Totally.